is Grace Colwood. I am 16 years old and I am the founder of the We Can Serve Movement Incorporated, based in Hartford County, Maryland. The name of my nonprofit is the We Can Serve Movement Incorporated. The We Can Serve Movement Incorporated is a nonprofit organization that brings happiness to homeless, sick, and foster children through projects and events. We have an all youth board of advisors ages 8 to 18, and together we believe that happiness shouldn't have to wait, and we bring swift solutions to children in need. I've always been passionate about bringing other people happiness, whether it was my friends or my family or people that needed the most. And I've been doing community service technically since I was two, but I got serious about it when I was seven years old, shortly after I was diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. And um, having cancer was something very new to me. I had no idea what it was or what it meant until I had it. I just knew that it was very painful and very scary. But there was an opportunity brought to me to give my back to school clothes to two little girls who had just entered homelessness. And so when my mom went to deliver the clothes for me and told me about their happy reaction, I knew that doing this work was what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And so I was able to establish an all youth board of advisors and together we've been able to bring happiness to over 22,000 homeless, sick and foster children to date. Some of the skills my all youth board of advisors and I have acquired through working through the We Can Serve Movement Incorporated have definitely been leadership skills, how to take a project start to finish, deeper thinking about what the organization really needs and how we can accomplish their goal. Along with a bit of public speaking, I'm a public speaker and my board members have definitely grown to be able to make conversations with strangers in order to get the information that we need and make the relationships that we need. Um, along with making sure that we aren't a burden to the recipient organization, making sure that we address the need that they have. Some of the projects we have include La Magnifique Boutique, which is a boutique filled with clothes appropriate for work and worship uh, for teen girls in foster care. Another project we have is Breakfast Bags Bonanza, where in the fall we give um, homeless and foster youth non-perishable breakfast foods, um, and this is to hold them over for the Thanksgiving and winter break. An extension of that project that Crows created this year was the Brunch Box, where we gave um, enough food to feed a family for about a week. It was breakfast, lunch, and dinner foods to about 300 people. Um, another project that we have, it's one of my personal favorites, is Camp Happy, uh, which I created in 2015 when I was 10 years old. It is a free on-site summer enrichment program for homeless and foster youth. Um, we take them on field trips, we do activities and theme days. And for 2020, we created Virtual Camp Happy, where our youth camp counselors created video tutorials for youth to follow at home to still have a fun summer and abide by the guidelines. Some of the goals I have for the We Can Serve movement is definitely to eventually reach serving 50,000 homeless youth and foster children. We've served about 22,000 so far. Um, I also really want to continue on this adaptable mindset we've been having due to COVID-19, really taking our projects to a virtual space, social distancing, and serving virtually. Um, another thing I'd like is for us to start serving a little bit heavier in other counties. Um, and my ultimate goal is really for we can serve to um, for us to have a succession plan for when I turn 18 because I will not be able to lead the group or be a part of the board of, of advisors. And so I definitely want to create our succession plan so that we can serve can live on. The advice I would give to other young entrepreneurs or dreamers would be to First and foremost, always remember that there is no age limit on service. I'm a big believer that there is no age limit on service because I started so young and when I tried to apply for grants or different things like that, there was always an age limit of about 13. I'm just now 16, but there is definitely no age limit on service. I would also recommend gaining a community of supporters. I first started off with a board of about 13 people and now we are a board of about five people. And that's okay with me because we also have a very supportive community around us. And the last thing I would recommend is definitely to have a very clear mission or goal. Make sure that you know, your supporters know, and the community knows what you're all about. 
find We Can Serve on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at We Can Serve Movement, and that is spelled W-E-C-A-N-C-E-R-V-E, Movement. And the last things I would like to say is to remember that there is no age limit on service and that young people's minds are like no other. 